Well, okay, we're hitting the, hitting the lower atmosphere uh, here, and again, what we should be seeing are, is this uh, this re-entry effect, this, gee, these flip, uh, f uh, flickering flames as uh, air compresses against the, uh, the leading edge of the uh, spacecraft and heats up. Uh, it's, uh, um, I learned recently that it's actually not frictional heating we're seeing there, it's compression heating. Look, there's there's the space center now in uh, now in view. We're 20 kilometers up. We're bleeding uh, energy as fast as we can. We're gonna over uh, looking at our uh, our prograde marker. We are currently going to overshoot the space center. I'm doing everything I can to drag that down. Everything I can to just waste energy. I've got all the air intakes open. Uh, I'm a little worried about deploying the landing gear at this speed. Uh, I don't know if they could take the sudden <laughs> the sudden shock. In real life, that would uh, if you open the the landing gear at this speed, it would uh, it would rip your undercarriage out from under the space plane. But yeah, we're uh, we're 10 kilometers up. We're down to uh, 500 meters per second, 600 meters per second. Our prograde marker is uh, is now below that space center. We're we're looking good. I think we're going to get our landing right on the space center. actually want the plane, the aircraft to be slightly nose heavy. I don't, uh, not quite understanding what's going on there. I think, uh, yeah, some, I think as, as many of my, uh, space plane design issues have, uh, have to do with minor, tiny little bugs in the system. Oh god, we are so close with the, uh, you can see the landing lights reflecting off the terrain. Oh, this is looking good. I want that runway. I am not giving up that runway. We are getting this landing. I want it. I want it bad. Oh, if just, uh -oh. And I, I lose my nerve a little bit. Fire up the jet, jet engines. I think I put a little too much energy back into the flight. We're going to overshoot the runway and very, uh, very likely land this thing in the drink. And that would be just a, a terrible way to end our flight. If we can get our uh, flight profile under control again. There's the end of the runway. We're gonna overshoot this thing. Come on, we can do this. Get the nose down a bit. Come on, come on. Oh, I can taste it. I want this. Here we come. Here we flare out, flare out, and touchdown! I whoa, 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 whoa! Hit the brakes! Hit the brakes! Oh no! no. Ah. Whoa! Ow. Oh, and we're landing.
planned it. <laughs> well, here we are on the runway. Anyway, I think uh, I think we're gonna have to call that a launch pad and a quack landing. And uh, yeah, any crash you can walk away from. But uh, hey, you, you do know what the uh, the difference between a good landing and a great landing is? Yeah, anyone? Anyone? Yeah. See, a good landing is any landing you can walk away from. A great landing you walk away from, and you can reuse the aircraft. Uh, I have a feeling the Aurora is going to be on the down list for uh, for a few months for repairs. But here we are. We made it. Grand adventure once again. Nothing. Uh, not a whole lot worked out exactly as planned, but. Yeah, you know, we had some good times all the same. We learned a little bit. I learned a little bit for my next mission. Things I'm going to be a little more careful with. And uh, I've really enjoyed doing this video for everyone. Let me know if you want me to do more. I've got plenty of ideas. Good night, everyone.